Welcome back students to our maths class. Let's begin with a new chapter, Bar Graphs. In this video, we are going to study practice set 18. After watching this video, you are going to complete this practice set 18 in your notebook. So students, let's start with a new lesson that is our chapter 6, Bar Graph. Okay, now in 5th standard, uh, we have studied about pictograph. Okay, we have studied how to read a pictograph and even how to draw a pictograph. Clear? And in this particular lesson, we are going to study about bar graphs. Okay, so here we are going to use the graph paper. Okay, in this lesson also, we are going to study how to read a bar graph and how to plot or how to draw the bar graph. So we begin. Now in this bar graph method, we will require a graph paper. Okay, so in your textbook on page number 36, they have shown a graph paper. Now you will see here that in this graph paper which is shown, there are lines and there are boxes. There are horizontal lines and there are vertical lines, red color. I am talking about the red color lines. Okay. And then there, are, there, is, there are some darker ones and there are some lighter lines. Okay. Now let's see the graph paper which we are going to use, how it looks. Now this is the graph paper which we are going to use. Okay. So now uh, you all cannot solve this particular uh, lesson in your maths notebook so you need to buy a graph book a small graph book which has limited or minimum pages okay you can buy a long graph book or a short graph book any one is okay now in this you will see that there are green color lines okay there are some horizontal lines there are some vertical lines you can see here there are some darker lines. Okay. This dark, dark line forms a square which is called a unit. And this one unit is further divided again with this horizontal and vertical lines. Okay. So you have to understand this particular one unit. So that we will see when we are plotting or when we are drawing the graph sorry so now first thing what you have to understand here is that when we are going to draw the given data we are going to show the given data on this graph paper we need a graph paper on this graph paper we need to draw the x axis and the y axis okay so from the bottom, you will see here, from the bottom, we will leave one unit. You can see, as I told you, this one box, okay, one darker box is one unit. So, we will leave this one unit here, line, and we will draw a horizontal line, okay. Try to use a, always use a scale and a pointed pencil, a sharp pointed pencil in order to draw the lines, and when we draw this line here, horizontal line, on this dark green color, that becomes a x-axis. And it has to be mentioned at this right-hand side corner. Okay. Again, we have to pay attention that we put arrows on both the ends of the x-axis. So, this becomes our x-axis. Same way, we have to leave one unit. Okay. We have to leave this one unit from the left hand side and then we have to draw a standing line or the vertical line on that dark green color and this becomes a y axis and that y axis has to be mentioned at the top and the arrows have to be made at the top and at the end you can see both the x axis and y axis have got arrows on both the ends okay this x and y axis meets at a point which is called as the origin and it is written as here 0. Okay, the origin is 0. I hope this much is understood. 
okay so first thing when we are starting with any kind of graph okay we are doing your bar graph so we have to draw the x axis and the y axis and wherever they meet is the cent at the center or it, the intersection is the origin which is zero and leave 1 cm from down or 1 unit from down and 1 unit from the side okay and draw the axis now after drawing the x axis and y axis now i am showing you the textbook on page number 37 okay since it is practice set 18 i will explain you on the same graph so that we can answer the questions practice set 18 is to just read the graph okay and we have to answer we have to observe the graph and answer the question now what is the question this bar graph shows the maximum temperature in degree celsius in different cities on a certain day in february okay now we have to observe the graph and answer the question so what is the graph about the graph is about maximum temperature in degree celsius okay of different cities so what information okay what is the graph about is written on the x-axis so you will see here on the x-axis they have given the cities so the graph is about the cities the temperature of these cities so the cities are marked on x-axis you can see here so there is Panchgani there is Pune there is Chandrapur there is Mathiran and there is Nasik okay and we have written here you need to mention what are these these are cities so we have mentioned cities now how to write these cities from the y axis we have to take equal intervals the bars these are called the bars you can see the pink color here they are the bars so these bars have to be at equal distance from the y axis and between each bar also the distance should be equal okay now what is on y axis the number about which about what we are talking about we are talking about the cities we are talking about the temperature of the cities so the number is written on the y axis so you can see here the temperatures are shown on the y axis okay so first you have to get sorted out that what should come on the x axis and what should come on the y axis so on y x axis whatever we are talking about whatever we are discussing about the graph has to come on the x axis and its number has to come on the y axis okay if this is clear now as i told you you need to mention your cities so it is mentioned cities your temperature so you need to mention your temperature now cities the names of the cities are written at equal intervals you can see here one unit is left and then the city panchkani the bar is drawn again one unit is left and then the bar is drawn again one unit is left and then the bar is drawn okay now here on y axis now the y axis how to put the numbers whether to write 1 2 3 4 or how to write it so this number these numbers how to write these numbers will depend on the scale what we are going to take so here at the top on the right hand side of the graph paper it is important to write what is the scale okay so the scale on y axis one unit is equal to 5 degrees celsius we have taken so from 0 we have to count one unit so from 0 one unit is this i told you this one box this dark color box is one unit so from 0 when we count one unit we have to take 5 degrees celsius so from 0 first one unit we finish it becomes 5 degrees go on adding 5 5 degrees because one unit is 5 degrees celsius so after this just go on adding 5 5 degrees so 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 15 plus 5 is 20 20 plus 5 is 25 okay and how much we need on the given information according to the given information how much we need you'll go on writing now here 35 is maximum we need so we have to stop here at 35 okay so first observe the graph it is about cities when we have we have a question to read the graph at that time and observe the graph and answer at that time first we need to see the graph we need to understand what is the graph about so we know now the graph is about cities 
and the temperature of those cities on that particular day of february okay then we need to see the scale also on scale it is written one unit is equal to 5 degrees celsius on y axis okay now panjgani we have to read here panjgani the bar stops at 25 okay for that so that you don't make a mistake we can use a scale okay so we can just hold a scale we can see here panjgani where it stops it stops at 25 so panjgani the temperature is given 25 degrees celsius then next is pune pune here you can see the bar and you can see that it is in a straight line with the 30 degree so pune they have given 30 degrees celsius chandrapur we will read it as 35 degrees celsius then mathiran again we come here it is 25 degrees celsius and then last is nasik 30 degrees celsius in this way first you will observe you will read it and you will understand and then we'll go to the questions in the first question what is asked here is what data is shown on the vertical and horizontal lines now what is vertical and horizontal lines you can see here horizontal line is the x axis vertical line is the y axis so what is shown on x axis it is on horizontal line cities are shown and on vertical line temperature in degree celsius is shown okay so we need to write our answer in complete sentence so what will be our first answer the data shows different cities on horizontal line and their temperatures in degree celsius on vertical lines okay you have to write in complete sentence now the second question the second question is which city has the highest temperature so again you can see directly or you can use the scale highest now you can see the highest point here is this 35 now no city is going above 35 here so 35 we'll see which is that city here it is chandrapur okay so we'll write our answer that chandrapur had the highest temperature you can see here chandrapur had the highest temperature okay you will be right just don't write chandrapur but you have to complete the answer in full sentence remember this okay now the third question third question is which cities had equal and maximum temperatures equal and maximum now first we'll see which cities are having equal we can say here these two are equal that is panjgani and mathiran are having 25 25 okay then which other two cities are having equal yes it is pune and nasik is having equal and it is 30 30 now 25 25 and 30 30 so maximum is 30 okay maximum is 30 and it is for these two that is pune and nasik pune and nasik are having the maximum and equal so answer will be pune and nasik had equal and maximum temperatures okay next question Which cities had a maximum temperature of thirty degrees Celsius? So first we have to see which is where is thirty degrees Celsius, and then we have to see at thirty again we have two, that is Pune and Nasik. So I said that if finding difficult to understand, you can just keep a scale. You can just hold a scale, and at thirty you can see here there are two cities at thirty, so Pune and Nasik. So you will complete your answer. Pune and Nasik had a maximum temperature of thirty degree Celsius. Okay, children. Now the last question: What is the difference between the maximum temperatures of Panjgani and Chandrapur? So first we should know what is the temperature for Panjgani and what is the temperature for Chandrapur and the difference. By now you all should know when we are talking about difference, it means subtraction. So Panjgani. Is twenty five degree Celsius and Chandrapur is thirty five degree Celsius. Now twenty five degree Celsius and thirty five degree Celsius. The difference means subtraction. When we subtract twenty five degree from thirty five degree, we get ten degree Celsius. So the difference you can do this in the rough work, and then since the difference is ten degree, twenty five to thirty five is ten degree Celsius. You will complete your answer. 
you need not show the calculation directly we can write the answer difference between the maximum temperatures of panchgani and chandrapur is 10 degree celsius this sentence is important so complete the sentence okay so in this way whenever there is a question to observe the graph and uh, write the answers you are going to first observe the graph understand what is the graph about it is also given in the question what is the graph about you will observe the graph see what is on the x axis look at what is on what is on the y axis look at the scale okay and then first understand okay which are equal who is highest who is lowest and then look at the questions and answer in complete sentence it is very important you answer all the questions in complete statement clear thank you students and have a good day